Welcome back to the battle map of Leptis Magna. <laughs> because I could not find the pronunciation of LPQY. <laughs> I looked. It didn't exist. <laughs> no such thing. I mean, it did exist. It was, it was called that at one point, but... I couldn't find a pronunciation for it. I guess I would just have to know ancient... Phoenician or something, I don't know. What the hell? <laughs> this battle should be relatively straightforward. Uh, the only thing to be somewhat concerned about is I noticed they have like six Italian swordsman units here. Which is... it's a thing. Also, uh, Mr. Man, Mr. Arius, his, uh, his royal guard has become malnourished a bit. Interesting. Also, these, these trees are just impenetrable, apparently. That's okay. Everyone move up. A nasty sense of duty. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the AI run rushes out at us. It would not be unwise of them, for sure. They might. Uh, considering the swordsmen plus the slingers, all that crap, uh, they might actually do some damage to our pikes. It could happen. It is, a, uh, it's, it's feasible. Most feasible indeed. Start my timer, I forgot. I am a fool. There we go. Yep, coming out at us. That's okay. We'll use my ballistas on them. How high level are those? Excuse me? The gold rank slingers. In the garrison. What? How? Garrison level units can level up? Whatever. Don't think about it too hard. Let's just uh, push my units up. Those that can move up. I won't bother grouping a whole lot here. We'll just group the whole army together. Okay. Getting shot at a bit. That was to be expected. How expected of you. Move my uh, Maedai out here. Use this uh, as cover for them. Okay. They want to play like that. We'll move right here. And yeah, I do like my ballistas targeting those slingers. Please continue to do so. Some Tarantines coming up. Marvelous. There's the uh, commander, Secundus Trio. With some Italian horsemen. They're actually centaurs. Alright. Use some fire ones, I guess. Have have a good have a good time. There you go. Pick your targets. Be guard mode, I guess. All right, we're rushing up already. Hm, interesting helmet. No crest. Ooh. All right, they're gonna land over here, huh? Okay. We will leave my uh, my swords and Cretans to that job then. Tarantines, don't waste your ammo on fleeing garrison units, you dipshits. <laughs> don't be dipshits. <laughs> nice. I'm basically just switching to fire for fun here. Uh, and so that they basically fire throughout the battle, keep pressure on the opponents. I don't want them to blow their loads, so to speak, early. That's nice. They're getting plenty of hits, though. They're burning people to death. You know, as is ideal. As the gods predicted. A most auspicious day, I'm sure. 
Okay. Moving up. Making my way downtown. Harass them. Yeah, these uh these units are of notably high rank. I, I guess they've handled more than one siege before, right? Right? Right. Peasants? You think you can just pick up a sword and call yourselves warriors? Let me show you real warriors. Warriors. I'm gonna take them off of fire mode now because uh, they might shoot my own men with those inaccurate shots. Made I put in the put in the herd on. Whoosh. Yep, that looks like it hurts. Good. It's supposed to. Hmm. You gonna pull some moves here? Go for it. Uh, no. Look at the, these units. They're just like, uh, you know what? It's preordained. We're gonna die now, okay? Okay. <laughs> what? what are you doing? No one gave you permission to do that. <laughs> Fucking game. Ah. Ah, I see. They've they've cottoned on to my cunning schemes. As I lead my general out in the open. Zaw! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was a poor choice. Poor life decision you made there, buddy. Indeed it was. And there you go. <laughs> well done. Sparta! Much. Mm. Mulch. How you guys doing over here? Let's actually start grouping some of you. Oh god, all my formations are all fucked now. Ooh. Okay, I just kind of told them to move directly in there, huh? Let's be a little more, a little less stupid, shall we? Let's do something like this. And, uh... A few of you... I don't know, like all of you, I guess. Do like this. And go ahead and phalanx all of you. Pike phalanx. Ah. And actually just walk, so you put your pikes down. You go ahead and run. You guys are nice and rested. They're going to land behind us over here. Uh, it's mostly missiles. Put you... We'll, we'll use my Tarantines. That'll be it. You guys can go ahead and uh, drop your equipment and move back here. That'll work. Okay. Ah. Okay. Alright. Alright. Fair enough. They're winded. Are they facing me? They're not facing me. Dipshits. These Cretans have high armor piercing damage. Uh, you have made a mistake by not facing them. Well, you've made a small mistake. <laughs> you lost, Frank. <laughs> Gotta get that hidden uh, health value down before they actually start getting a lot of kills. That's how games work, don't you know? Alright, alright. They've effectively... Set up a little beachhead here. That's good. Follow my orders, please. All right. You folks, this way, this way. Just the Tarantines. Just the Tarant tip. 
That's not really what I wanted. But alright. You have made your choice. <laughs> it is certainly a choice. I cannot refute that. Alright. Better. Get over here. Get over here! No? Alright. Yes, I guess. They're confused. They're like, where the hell do we go? Especially these cavalry. <laughs> the general's like, what do we do? <laughs> He's panicking. <laughs> I like it. Continue to panic, sir. You're doing God's work. Swords! 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 Hey guys, what weapons do you think they use? Knives, right? Spears? I think... I think they, they're trying to tell me that they use spears. <laughs> oh man, the... <laughs> the quote-unquote barbarian voice actors. They slay me. Uh, they get me. Jesus. <laughs> so... <laughs> Swords. Warriors, ready. Swords. <laughs> uh, please make it stop. <laughs> All right. God damn it! Please stop. <laughs> I have to keep clicking. <laughs> Cretians, could you stop shooting my troops, please? Thanks. Preach. It's like, fuck those Macedonians. <laughs> oh man, maybe we won't lose Spartans. All we've lost any two so far is Pila's. Ooh, never mind. They landed in, a, in an angle I did, didn't expect. That hurts. Alright, so we're going to lose a bit of one unit. A lot of one unit. Spreading it out to this unit, I guess, because now they're not doing much damage. <laughs> Please make it stop. <laughs> so, why are you stopping? No one ordered you to stop fighting. Oops. Shit. That was bad. Please! <laughs> Can I just name this episode Swords? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Tries to be nuts. Their, their voice actors in general fucking drive me nuts. Especially the ones that are just like, rah! I don't like that. A lot of that stuff to me, like, plays into the fucking... Like, stereotypical, oh, they're, they're barbarians! <laughs> no, they weren't. <laughs> it's not, it's not how it was happening. Stop. It's just fucking stereotypical. You're just playing into Roman propaganda, man. <laughs> like, actually look at, like, studies of Celtic culture. It was, it was just as advanced as any other culture at the time. Oh, and then you look at like some Celtic ooh, art and metal smithing. Man, some of their gold smithing was amazing. Like if you just look up at, look up Celt and go on Wikipedia and you'll find uh this like gold inlaid like ceremonial helmet that's just amazing. Coolest fucking thing I've ever seen. All right, we lost some of this unit. Wow, these guys got a lot of kills. Good job. Even Arius got some kills, and I... Hmm. Must have been routing units, because he really shouldn't have been in combat at all. Their cav got some kills on my mate eye, of course. Unfortunate. Some of their swordsmen got some kills there. Whatever. No biggie. 
As expected, that battle, not a big deal. Arius gets another victory to add on to his many victories. We'll go ahead and raise this so we uh, get the public order boost off of it. Ready for battle. Uh, just go ahead and convert that into a hamlet and convert that into a thing and give me... What do you, what do you have here? Uh, Leptis Magna. You do not. Okay. Nope. And there's like nothing special to look at for the province itself or anything, from what I can tell. Uh, okay, give me food and then get me some agriculture bonuses, I suppose, because this grain stuff has its boosts to that, so that's good. And we'll save the rest of my money, I think. Uh, this army is still handy capable. But uh, we'll trade one unit out here. Uh, you have 65. Go ahead and give me a fresh one. That's good. These guys have a level up. Or Oh, this is uh, Nabis. Right, Nabis. Uh, let's immediately take you down movement path, movement speed paths. You, you really need it. Can you get any from like one of these maybe? Yes. And uh hmm. Nope. Not seeing it. Nice. Battles against Rome. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Get a <laughs> get Achilles from Troy in there. Yeah. Okay. What does Arius have anyway? That's a good one. That's a decent one. And eh, that's actually not that great. Nothing he really needs here, though. Yeah. Yeah. Getting more income this turn. Now that Thrace is back up. Still not that, like, 6,900 I was seeing before when I disbanded that army at first. Uh, it looks like Illyria is losing public order. Well, we knew about that. Uh, who is not active that I can use? Well, I could always just send someone on a mission. Let's see here. Should be someone useful. Uh, Leonidas, I think, has stuff. Leonidas or Shinies are both from the proper dynasty for that. Or not dynasty-wise, I mean... Like, for stats. No, Leonidas is actually really better in the field. Hmm. Weird. I'm not sure why I'm not using him in the field instead of, like, I'm using Nabis and stuff. It's just because of how they were positioned. You, you, Ishinis, you're, you're for this. Delminium. Oh, part of the problem is that the pirates are still alive because I didn't ice them like I did in the manual sea battle. Yep, negative 10 from writing. Irritating. Don't care about legacies at the moment. Just go ahead, sit here, make people shut the fuck up. Part of it's also because I took down temples to get food. Yep, that'll happen. I like how having these cities actually reduces my public order because of course it does. Um, okay. I mean, this wouldn't be a problem if I took my taxes down, but... No. <laughs> Just no. He's not happening. Good get Isle and you and you. I need all of these to be leveled up. Because uh Numidia ain't worth shit at the moment. It's fine. Fine. Yeah, all of my new conquests are pretty terrible. 
Oh, Virginia was. Done. Alright, you don't really have much that's great, so... Food! That'll go to livestock. For maximum profits. Fill my coffers. My greedy, greedy coffers. It's interesting to see, like, other... Other province, provinces and how, uh... How profitable they are. It is, it is. Who's got like the most profitable province on the map? Interesting. This one. Huh. It's not even owned by one person. It's owned by three. Aquitaine. Aquitaine was still called Aquitaine at this time. Interesting. Well, the AI is certainly getting more money from their provinces than I am. Hmm. Okay. Speaking of provinces... I might have to go more properly murder Rome. That's a lot of territory up there. I'll think about it. Don't think about Turn your head No baby Just spit me out uh, Nothing to do here But go ahead and End the turn I think I think we're good We're good We're good Did I move you guys? Yeah Okay Alright uh, turn after next we take Ebossum. Well, I think we can actually just take it, yeah. We can land our armies and um, attack with the fleet. And then a couple turns from that, we take ours. And ideally there will be like a tribe there I can liberate. I don't really want to deal with it. I should also see, this army has like the, the torn banner. I should see if I can merge some stuff. And uh, once we deal with Africa, which should be four or five more turns, it's basically just when we move there, we take it. I may even auto resolve and essentially retire Arius and his accompanying army from Nabis and basically withdraw a bunch of my forces and let the profits flow in for a while. Because at that time, we would be in a period of peace and we wouldn't really have to deal with anything. I mean, Rome's still around. But I could enjoy a few turns of peace and profits and money for a bit before uh, finishing them off. Just depends on how I feel. Our ancestors have spoken and they have named you as true friends. Uh, Do you dare ignore the other world? War with the Bowie. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, you want to pay me for it, though? You sure do. Cool. So many defensive allies. So many people to drag into wars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... Screen went black there for a second. Kind of scary. How are our politics looking? We're still not at the very highest level. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what's going on with that? Uh huh. What is causing your. What's causing you to be salty? Patriot. No, and Imperium level and Easterners. He's mad that we have Easterner shit. Up to minus 10 for each treaty, and he has the, the full thing. Hmm. I would like his successor to come to office. How old is Eudemitis? He's old. He's going to kick the bucket soon. That's fine. Uh... Give me some loyalty. Keep that at negative 
We're going to have to keep doing that. We uh, can't do any favors or anything. He's not loyal. All oh, right, Arius' wife died. He's 71. Old fart. <laughs> can't land. I have to besiege it first. Erp. And... Erp. Forming a blockade. And, uh, die. Die, 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 die. 94% my ass. Uh. I don't know, I'll just occupy. That's fine. Go ahead and dismantle, dismantle, dismantle. I'll, I'll keep this because it has so much public order attached to it, honestly. It's great. I could actually go take ours this turn. I, I don't know how powerful it is, though. Uh, let's find out. 17. Okay, fine. You made your point. How much food do you have? Eight still. Nice. Clickety clackety. All right. Hey, they have a fleet here. Uh, they could they could go take Isle from me and annoy me. That's a possibility. Let's uh, raise something to deal with that. There you go. Reinstate the legacy of uh. Wow, this is this is his army <laughs> legacy. So I'll take it. Um, what's cheap? Nothing really. Give me. These are slingers with large shields. Those can't be right. I don't. Mm -hmm. Give me Numidian javelins. Slow them down a little. Okay, they. Mm. I guess I'm slightly more concerned than that. Oh, fine. Give me two of these. Give me two of those and call me in the morning. All right. We got Euphranto. Euphranto? We can take it this turn. You can't reach close enough to support, though, can you? Uh... Eh. Oh, he can. He can support. Great. No, he can't. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Get over there. <laughs> Thank you. Better. 86%. Die. Don't care. Uh, raise this too. And convert. And convert and give me happiness and give me food seems good Ready for orders. uh merge the army i said merge let me quick save the game before i do another merge <laughs> merge What does that leave you with? Ooh, need to get rid of that. Eh, y'all can't reach each other. That's fine. Uh, you don't even need to be complete armies. Alright, let's go scout out Tidimense. And y'all are almost done here. Good. Get this shit over with. 7,300 per turn now. Starting to turn a significant profit. I could legitimately turn taxes off now, but I'm keeping them high because I need it. Get in my body. Next turn, we take Arse. And then we kind of just need to go kill this fleet. Get it out of my face. I would recruit here if I could. That's not my fleet. Are you both actually supplied? 
Yes. Good. Can't recruit. Understandable. Minus 23. Blech. Don't sabotage the settlement. Just get on the water. On the land. Lots of swords. Okay. Ooh, hey, I forgot about Alalia. Completely forgot this existed. Did it exist? Was this not... Was this Carthaginian? I guess it was. Maybe that's what I had this Leonidas over here for. Probably. Ooh. Oh. Uh, yeah, this is a fairly new army. Put that in the turn. The only thing that sucks is that uh, I'm going to want to return these two armies to Sparta before disbanding them. Or to Athens or Pella. Probably Pella. Uh, because they have so many first class citizens. I'll, I'll want those to you know, be distributed back where they need to go. Capital should be fine, I guess. The thing is, there's supposed to be certain balances of uh, units, not units, of classes. Otherwise, you start getting, like, penalties of some sort. I don't really know how all that works. I guess I'll find out if I disband, like, 5,000 nobles in my capital. <laughs> they buy all the land from the poor and force them out of the city. Welp, that happened. You don't understand. It could happen to anyone. It's just how it goes. All right. <laughs> I definitely got to save my game here. Political appointments. Hmm. Oh, okay. Those are for our people. Hmm. That's certainly an income rise. I don't know, man. Like... Okay, surely surely this is profitable at this point, right? With so much of the map under our control, surely this cultural stuff is a big deal. Wow. That's that's some stuff. Okay. Uh we're gonna keep going with livestock just because like it doesn't provide much food, but uh money. It provides a good deal of money. And most settlements have like a livestock uh buff bonus. Wait, let's not spend on that yet. Let's just focus on our foodstuffs for now. Whoops. And Leptis Magna. Go ahead. Well, this is a boost to... No, this is a boost to nothing. Okay. Herding ground. Homestead. I don't think I can do anything else with uh, these yet. No, I can. It just adds public order minus and squalor minus. Hmm. Maybe eventually I need to go down this tree. Is, is there another boost to sanitation? Yes, there is right here. That might be wise. That would allow me to put more stuff in. So would uh, a positive public order. Um, which eh, I don't really get much of as this faction. Syracuse has a level three dock. Does that even get me anything? Yeah, this is what gives me the 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 lethal bolos. I've been waiting a long time on that. Then a lot of money minus for for maintenance, but that's okay. Let's get our cows. <laughs> Moo! We're gonna add to global warming. <laughs> Okay, so which way do you guys want to go to kill this city? Is that the road? Good. That's the road. Don't be stupid. Don't piss me off. 
Let's kick these guys the fuck out of Africa. Out of curiosity, how have my noble populations, like, settled? They haven't. Understandably enough, the nobles don't exactly regen fast. I think the fastest regen we have is, of course, in Pella. Well, Pella has got a decent amount back. Our, our taxes being very high is, of course, reducing our growth all the way across the board. So, understandable that. Understandable. Alright, go ahead and get there. And you go ahead and get here. And you... Yes, calm down. And you go ahead and get in reinforcing range. I said, <laughs> get in reinforcing range. And, uh, die. Die, 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 die. I can liberate. Okay. At your command. Who did this give us? The Ircavones. Ircavones. <laughs> sure, why not? You guys are going to need so much happiness to survive. I, I'm thinking I won't tax you. Maybe ever. But, uh, I don't really care about your income. You're such a small settlement. Just ha be, be happy. Be happy and shut up. <laughs> I imagine these have, like, trade potential. Not much. 1% wealth from local commerce? Okay. They have an export food thing? Huh. Whatever. You'd think it'd have a maritime commerce bonus, but no. But no. Those guys should trade with me. Uh, boop. Sit, friend, and let us talk. And let us. Hopefully, everyone in the region is friendly with them. We'll see. If not, I don't care a whole lot. Wow. All right. of a merchant, my friend. A merchant. We do not want your gold. Forty-eight hundred was just—it was just six hundred over the line. <laughs> yeah, other factions like them a little bit due to due to uh, treaties with me. That's fine. Okay. Oh, huh. we can trade with these now, right? We actually have a land a land uh, connection. A Ooh. 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 Yeah. Gimme. That's 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 the good stuff right there. No military access, you can have it. I can Enjoy. as a supplicant, and the gods have granted you generosity in abundance. I agree to all. Good. I'm glad you agree to all. All of my people have like military access, right? You honor us. There's food enough no. for two armies away. I'm not even gonna bother selling it for the most part. Like my friends should probably have military access, huh? Good and noble friends. So they can actually do the stuff they need to do. Your Great. people are a byword for honor, but I cannot I look forward to your wish. Your people are a byword for honor, but no. The gods will rejoice at There's a good pork roasting for you. You have it. Tedious military access bullshit. My friend, you own Oh yeah, we don't even have a non-aggression pact with you. Because you're not willing to Despite get one with me for some reason. My good friend, we cannot agree to these terms. Alright. I have listened long. I doubt they'll attack me. That would be real but stupid. I cannot agree to what lies behind that wit. Interesting. Lots of expansionism uh minuses. Lots and lots of expansion stuff. Uh, Welp. Where is that Roman Navy? Right, that's a small one. Well, 13 isn't small, but smallish. Small here, small here, small here. Where's the big one? Pirates. The King Pirate. What? Oh, pff, whatever. Uh, 
the 13 one, I guess, is the biggest one around now. Anyway, folks, there is no need for these armies anymore. Not at the moment. The way ahead is blocked. Then let it... <laughs> okay. Am I allowed to disband you guys in the water? Let me think about this. Ah, right. Right, 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 right. Right. Do I care? Do I? Do I care? But do I care? <laughs> Not really. I can just raise a new force up here. Don't care. It would take so long to ferry them over there. Later. Later, look at that income. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a thing. It would probably be faster to do this across the water, lady. Go ahead and, like, head back that way. And you, I don't know, just knock yourself out. Go crazy. Have a good time. Don't really need you anymore. All right, champion. Mm, he has a rank. He can He can come this way, I guess. And you need to handle this. Where'd they go? Right there. Eh, not dead this turn, but soon. Soon, DM. All right, this settlement's safe. Later, Leonidas. Peace out, fam. I need to kill these stupid pirates. They're raiding my stuff. My things. <laughs> mm, juicy 20,000 income per turn. With that, I do feel comfortable lowering taxes back down. Uh, I'm going to keep it at high for a moment. Because I'm probably going to start raising another army uh, this upcoming turn. move further <laughs> what are you doing and just so we can see that juicy income flow into our veins let us go ahead and end the turn Arthage has got to think a little as do many of these bigger factions I think you guys can see what I mean by the sort of mid-late game gameplay. It's not a big deal. At this point, it becomes pretty trivial. I, I don't know if it would be... No, I'm not paying you for it. Pay me for it. Anyway, I... Uh, I don't think so. I've gotten to these stages before, and it's pretty much the same thing. The AI has some artificial bonuses, so it hangs in there and clings a little harder to life, but for me, it ends up being mostly the same shit. And you've seen how I do things with, like, choke points and levy armies and stuff like that, making my life easier, and I just do the same thing, uh, From and even if I'm being attacked from multiple sides. At this stage, once you're once you're so big, as you saw, I I just disbanded um, two armies for a bit, and I have 20k income. When I disband the other two, we're looking at 30, 40k income per turn. These people Guys, if I just stack that up, if I just stack up that income for a while, for like five, six, seven turns, I can play the rest of the game, <laughs> essentially, without any problems. Oh no. It's not how he looks. <sighs> Arius has passed away.
lot of people returned home, uh, surely for the funeral. Surely for the funeral. And, uh, we'll, we'll put, uh, Leonida, Leonida, Leonidas, excuse me, Leonidas the second in his place because he has the proper attributes to be a field commander. Damn. Long time coming there, Arius dying at age 71 peacefully after having avenged his comrades cutting a swath through uh, Sicily securing Sicily finally taking Carthage Serta, Thapsos, Capsa um, directing the, the aid to Isle I'm sure taking uh, Leptis Magna and Euphranta and dying on the way to ending his campaign in Africa at Tidimense the damn shame that he wasn't able to finish what he started there but all the same a uh, a worthy life a worthy life indeed a fantastic field commander and politician now we have Ashines. he's pretty young he's uh he's a governor mostly is he a good leader i don't know he, he's mostly leading, uh, he, he's in uh, Dominium here. Just kind of hanging out. What are his traits? Let's take a look. He is the Basilius, of course. He's Erudite. Okay. So he's a promising pupil. He, he needs to be in places with high public order and perhaps libraries. He's a clever strategist. So he's a decent strategist. He has map movement range and such. He's a gifted leader. He has good authority. He is calm. And he's a scrapper, which I think is just a... Yeah, it's a very low form of the his brawler thing. Of his fighting unit status. He seems like, you know, he has the makings of a decent ruler. He's adding research right now. Two plus authority when leading a fleet. What? Give him cunning, I guess. As far as this stuff goes, uh, give him more authority. Give him a noble steed. And I guess we'll head him to the capital where there is a great library. And we'll see if he ends up being a proper decent leader. Also, full income. That's good shit right there. Let us go ahead and pick up another commander. Uh, you both have some stars. I don't remember what your traits are at all. I need to look for Leonatus here. Uh, sheesh. Was he not a family member? Antileo, Eumastus, Hygienos, I remember you, I used you a bit. Xenophon. Ah, Leonidas is actually from uh, the Jerusia party. Hmm. I see. I guess we need a fresh command then. Yeah, noble families in Jerusalem. Yeah, let's uh let's pull one of you from the Aegeids. We'll pull you. We'll have you reinstate uh the the, the name of Leonidas then. And we can get all sorts of stuff here. We can have all kinds of nonsense. We can easily get a classic Perioikoi army. Uh wow, I should not have these anymore. I should only have one. Uh, I don't need border defenses, especially in Iridium. Get out of here. Ready for battle. Huh. It's too bad I can't get any kind of legionaries. Just these shitty Insefaria Talichi. Not even with the barracks, I don't think. 
Okay. We can get companion uh, hoplites, which are pretty damn good. We can get perioikoi hoplites, Tarishan axemen. We'll probably build a mostly foreigner army. These really aren't very good. They got a speed of two and like shitty armor. I don't know why I would use them. Over axemen, especially. Yeah, we'll we'll have mostly foreigners. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Let's just get all the companions I can. There you go. That's that's the whole line right there. Four of those. Uh, and to give me archers. Those will be fine. And we'll get cav from mercenary populations. Perfect. Those will recruit really fast. I don't believe... Let me take a look at the Roman navies here. This video is running kind of long, but that's that's all right. We're taking care of some stuff here. Ah, uh, you're no threat. Right, this navy. This one needs to die. And... Goodbye. Later, nerd. I don't care about freeing or whatever. Just do that. You have six turns of food. Okay. Start heading over. You'll probably stop off in Carthage or maybe Penormos. Probably Penormos. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Rome is no longer a naval threat at all. They cannot take these settlements with these 12 units. Not a threat. Uh, Hygienos? Oh, yeah, he's in use right now. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. You served your country well, standing out in the middle of piss, no piss all nowhere. <laughs> Doing a fantastic job, I'm sure. Okay, now I have 52 food. Let's take a quick look at my provinces. What do I want to upgrade here? You guys are pretty damn happy. You don't have any sanitation or squalor issues. I could make you even happier if I need to. Let me look for ones that are, like, objectively good. Like, uh, right, right, right. Like, uh, Capsa. Objectively good to upgrade all of these. Anything that boosts uh, farming? Agriculture? Yep. This does. Agriculture. Man. No reason to not upgrade some of those. Upgrade Carthage? Uh, yes, absolutely should. Wow, that's a lot of wealth from uh, subsistence. Really good. A lot of public order loss, though. But that shouldn't be a problem. 20% wealth from every source. Hmm. 30% wealth. <laughs> There you go. Enjoy. And for you, this would boost 10% wealth from all commerce. This is actually manufacturing, mostly. This is wealth from subsistence, so no, I think I'd want um something else. I don't know. 10% wealth from agriculture. This is agriculture. No, this is local commerce. This is hard. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. We'll have you be the happiness center. I'm not going to worry too much about that. And I'll save my cash. All right. That's how I'm going to end that turn. Maybe the session. I'll think about it. And... I do believe I'll see you guys next time where we do some tidying up and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing much to say for that. See you next time.